Hello people, this is Power here to review the Kamara Zero One DX Progress Key Set or Progress Key Set Zero Two DX Crushing Buffalo Progress Key and Splashing Whale Progress Key. So obviously, uh, this one, this set, still being the two Progress Key Set, includes the Crushing Buffalo as depicted by Zero One here and Splashing Whale, like so. Um, the left having the Splashing Whale Raider, and the right having the Crushing Buffalo Raider, my absolute favorite. Obviously, here's the top and the bottom. And just to quickly note, unlike the first set, um, this set was exclusive to Amazon Japan, which might sound easy, and it might be easy for most people, but for me, it was actually difficult. Because while I actually did pre-order this set, um, because our bank is really, like, protective and such, and considers Amazon Japan fraud, uh, we weren't able to fulfill our payment, and Amazon Japan canceled it on us. So I had to get this off of Makari via Bai for, like, $14 more than what, um, Mandaraki lists it for. But anyways, let's just get into the set. So here we have the two progress keys out, so just like the previous video, we will look at each of them individually. So here we have Crushing Buffalo, and this one is a more darker shade of red? No, it's a more lighter shade of red, like just comparing to Flaming Tiger. It's more of a maroon, like this one's more of a... whatever. <laughs> I can't describe colors. It's not yet. Where's a red I can compare this to? <laughs> this is literally the closest thing. <laughs> but other than that, just like. It's a unique shade of red. Um, name, ability, blow. I, I don't get that personally. I just want to keep calling this a bison, but it's not a bison. <laughs> uh, just like a uh, splashing what storm and penguin, it has the same like sheen of like metallicism. Well, I don't know what you call it. QR code for Boots Bagamba 017. Open it up. The rider model. The symbol, obviously, because this was uh previously released, uh, there's, neither of these have the premium inverted, uh, scheme. So there you get an angry buffalo. Next up, we got Splashing Whale, which this one's in a Really, like, I think this one looks really nice. Like, yeah, it's because I like blue, but, like, man, the this one stands out the most at, like, this metallic sheen. It's it's beautiful. Um, again, the name, ability, wave. There we get our jumbo whale, <laughs> which I, I like. Again, I like that they're actually doing different. Well, they have done this whale before for go on to our booth but man this base i love it a lot cure code for pizza bagamba 022 opened up rider model and again this symbol i need to keep track which track which tab is what Pronouncing whale with a Q. How do you say it? whale? Something like that? I don't know. Let's just get everything of zero one isms. Honestly.
I really like how light I can tap this and it still, like, you know, triggers. Like, it takes the flaw of the Force Riser, but actually utilizes it well. First thing to be shown, but second thing to be filmed. You will understand later. Hello. This one I've had issues of authorizing, I don't know why. Gosh, this is so empty without, like, the falcon armor building up. Gosh. Whoa. I was like, didn't I? All I was going to say is that I always feel like I'm forgetting something to do with the slash riser, but like there's literally not much you can do with this thing. <laughs> it only really only has the one new finisher. Which is just the one word. Let's not mess this up. <laughs> this is the shot riser. I really like how this one's very similar to Hercules, where the jingle's really long. In the phrase. Again. Uh, you want everything? Watch the demo. Water. So yeah, I I'm gonna repeat this a lot. I realized my like previous video I recorded that completely wrong, like in order and such. So yes, I'm filming these two pairs first, but I'm gonna do them editing. I'm gonna switch it around. Again, this one is alright. Like, honestly, it's just because of how the framing is. It's just a lot easier for me to, like, move 
go from the Raid Riser to the uh, Force Riser slash Cyclone Riser, then to the Shot Riser and Slash Risers, just because Slash Riser, obviously, I had to, like, change. I had to drastically, like, change the angle and such. I can't be the only one that thinks that's uh, that he's basically, gosh, <laughs> that he's basically seeing crashing instead of crushing, right? <laughs> the first time it's showing up better on camera than in person? Yeah, it looks really poor in person. Give him a red eye. <laughs> Man, just the the security on this thing has just dwindled so sorry. Sorry, I talked over that. I don't know, I was for some reason thinking like, wait, how's the battery tray work? Did you just pull it out or did you get screwed? I don't know why I was just thinking about that. Cyclone Riser. Finally, we get the full-on glory of Crushing Buffalo's jingle, which has to just be my top five favorite jingles. <laughs> And I apologize for any light washing because that's what it seems like the camera's doing.
that encompasses everything around it. like the like surfer vibe they went with with this one <laughs> I didn't mention penguins. I think penguins supposed to be tropical, but I could be wrong because you can technically say this one's tropical. But this one's obviously supposed to be more surferish. So we made a huge mistake, and we used the wrong weapons. So I'm not going to bother re-recording. So basically just know that the weapons in the uh, demo are the definitive uh, choice. I literally forgot to activate it. Why? There. <laughs> I really don't like this thing. <laughs> Honestly, what do I really like out of Metsubal Jinrai? Nothing really. <laughs> Good thing out of Metzibel Jin is Jin. <laughs> Jin and Naki, but mostly Jin. So that's essentially it for this set, and um, this one I actually have more to talk about, <laughs> just because of just how this one was. So I don't remember, again, I recorded the intro all the way back in November. Today it's April 12th, so <laughs> I don't, I didn't look back on what exactly I mentioned, so if I repeat some things I apologize. But um... Like, I recommend this set, obviously. I like that it's the same quality as the previous set. Obviously, this set is technically, like, less of a leisure to get because it is just a re-release of two previous keys that were in Gashapon waves. However, um, I, well, I think because of that, that's why I want to get to where I want to talk about. Just the fact that this set, as I'm messing with the lights, is because the lights are for some reason being... The lighting is horrible. But like, the th I feel like that's why they decided with this set that it was going to be an Amazon Japan exclusive because it was, ow, I bit my gum. Um, because it was just a re-release of two progress keys that were already out. Unlike this set where they actually had a new key and a and like, you know, a previous key that was only released through Candy Toy. So, I think for this set, that's, you know, again, that's kind of why they're like, yeah, we can just release it in Amazon Japan. And I hope this was the case for everyone that like, it was easy on you just to pre-order it and such. 
I was very unlucky, and I got my pre-order canceled because uh, Zorkin wasn't able to pay it, pay it out because the bank, our bank, doesn't like Amazon Japan, which is why I can't order directly off of Amazon Japan anymore because we're just not allowed to. Which so I had to get this through Makari via Bai. For like literally like fifty seven dollars, and I'm not really happy about that price because you can actually get this off of Mandarake for forty dollars, which is like this one you're gonna have to pay more for because it is an Amazon Japan exclusive. The first set tends to sell for like thirty five, so fifteen per progress key. No, but like 17 about. This one you're going to have to pay like 20 per progress key, which I think it's justifiable. However, because it's at a low price, it's hard to get. So, it's just like, just, I'm not sure if I really want to recommend picking this off of Makari via Bai. Because again, I wasn't really happy with the price I got it for. Because, and I'm including fees too. So. Because I did pay like the full fee. Which was like $10. Like I could have saved $5 and only paid for like only got it gotten it for like $52. But it's just like. Yeah this set's just hard to get in general. If you were actually able to pre-order it off of Amazon Japan, and if your bank wasn't, like, you know, stopping you, <laughs> um, you know, good on you, uh, essentially, be because that happened to us, that was just the last straw for Zraken, and he was just like, nope, I'm done buying direct, ordering directly off of Amazon Japan, because if you want stuff, you're just gonna have to... Sucks for you. <laughs> so it's just like, I'm, I don't like the idea of the fact that like I have to get Amazon Japan stuff through a buy now because it's just like, that's just an extra process. But it's the only way I have to do it. So yeah, uh, this is Power Order and I'll leave you people. Bye.